Next case, I believe, is RDZ 2023-12. Again, thanks, sir. This is a request by the applicant GT Record Service to rezone approximately 3.2 acres from its current commercial highway zoning to M2 Heavy Manufacturing in order to put the property to be used as a record tow service. Recent properties have been developed again with a wholesale landscaping business to the east, which you'll see in a moment, and a metal roofing company to the northwest, uh, which was not present at the time of the, uh, the aerial photo. This property is within the urban service area and depicted within the community activity center character area, surrounded by industrial activity center area. It's also within the Ballast Airport overlay with access primarily off Old Flyville Road. For comprehensive plan, M2 zoning is not recommended within the community activity center character area though the property does abut industrial activity center characters, which does allow for and promote M1 and M2 zoning. Now, record tow services are not defined within the ULDC, and therefore the use is likely classified as either a junk or salvage yard or a motor vehicle repair shop. The supplemental standards you have in your packets of 40311 and 40312 are attached, and they include things such as buffering, screening, and setbacks. Well, interestingly, Record tow services are allowed in commercial highway zones within the city of Valdosta without supplemental standards. Given all this consideration, staff considered the request and came to a compromise that M1 zoning may be appropriate with the following conditions. They're listed there in your packet regarding screening that a solid wall or solid fence a minimum eight feet high shall be there. Buffering along the northern property which as you noted was zone RA, minimum 30, 30 feet uh, in conjunction with the required screening of the fence or wall. Outside storage shall be screened from view from the adjacent properties. Storage of salvage or junk material shall not exceed the height of the fence or wall and shall not be construed to prohibit equipment and vehicles used in the salvage operation. Exterior lighting shall be directed and shielded to avoid illumination of adjacent properties and there shall be no more than 50 Five zero vehicle store on the property in addition to the employees or customers' personal vehicles. You'll note here that on the survey that, that we're talking about parcels three and four in particular. And the combined properties here are outlined in red with the adjacent properties to the northwest on the previous survey. Yes, sir. When looking at the uses allowed in, in the M2 zonings that were rather intense, uh, and again, the fact that it wasn't recommended by the comprehensive plan, finding a compromise between either the commercial highway repair to allow use of a vehicle repair shop compared to a junk salvage, uh, finding an M1 compromise may be suitable for this area. That there are some concerns by staff that it may become a deterrent to any future development. So we're trying to reach a compromise here for the applicant, but understanding that it, the allowed uses in M1 during your packet can still be somewhat intense. Um, so in your conditions, are you actually conditioning that egress and ingress should be off Old Plotville? That is a recommendation by the county engineer. Okay. Not, a, it's not, not, a, a condition. not a condition, but it is a recommendation okay. by the county engineer. is agreeable to the conditions. The applicant is here, they have the conditions in front of them and I will let them answer if they have any concerns about that. So to Commissioner Roundtree's point, ingress, egress, I mean that's just going to be left open, not a condition. Not a condition. That was a recommendation. It was a recommendation by the county engineer that he would prefer to be on hold Clyde Bill not St. Augustine. Any other questions, commissioners? For staff? Thank you. All right, in that case, we'll open the public hearing portion on this case. Is there anyone here this evening who would like to speak in favor of this case? If so, please come forward. State your name and address for the record, please. Thomas Sutton. Thomas Sutton. Sutton, good. Yes, sir. Uh, 3673 Johnson Road, Southeast. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, as far as using Old Clyde Road, that's not a problem. Uh, as far as the, the property, that's not a problem. It's just, we 
we've been doing the salvage return. We don't part out vehicles. We don't sell parts off the vehicles. Uh, we work accidents like our services do. They probably sit there for a while and then they get picked up and haul down the road. Uh, I keep being told that they don't have a word for storage in the zone, so I get automatically classified as salvage. Is the reason we're trying to get into so we can, you know, just run a business. We've been 30 years in this town, never had no problems. And like I said, we're just trying to find a place where we can put up business now. So, how do you feel about the other conditions? 50 vehicles, I mean, is that, could you envision a time where you would have more than 50 vehicles? Screening, fencing, all of that, you're cool with that. Now, you're not talking about the complete property being screened, are you? No, we're talking about the ones that um, back up to you. The back premises yeah. that are hot to. Storage. As far as our actual storage right. lot for the wrecked vehicles and mm -hmm. disabled vehicles, I do not have a problem with building property in front of that. Along the northern property line, so that would be the line between two and three. Is that your staff? Primarily along line four, actually. The screening of the okay. vehicles would be around the, the any salvage vehicles. If they have an office on site for customers or staff to come into, that area would not necessarily have to be screened. Okay. But anywhere they're storing vehicles would need to be screened. Okay. The buffering would be to the north along the northern property line between uh, of lot four, as it's proposed. Does that coincide with your thinking, Mr. Sutton, as well, what Mr. Zeller just said? As far as the thinking, yes. Okay. The, the plan is, is to put more of the office on, on three, on lot three, put the building, and then the storage and stuff in trucks that we run on four. So that would be in line with that. So basically, you prefer in two, if possible, but you don't have any problem with the conditions as we discussed right now. I guess. I just, I just want to know that because we're in the process of trying to buy this on contingency of the zone, I just want to know that we can conduct our business without, you know. We, we keep everybody, uh, we're the, the people that we talk to in the county keep suggesting we go to M2, M2, M2. And that's the reason we're asking for M2. Yeah. Understood. But if we got M1, would there be a hindrance later? Like, or would we have any hindrance later? Like, I mean, if you proceed, I guess, would be the question, you know? No, the reason the M2 is the zoning administrator and code enforcement really brought this up and said, this looks like salvage. We need to, that's the only close classification we have is M2 salvage. Uh, after working through the application and based on proposed use, Staff is, staff is agreeable that M1 can be suitable with the following conditions to prevent any, any, uh... Well, may I ask a question? Sure. I mean, like, if you park 10 cars there, does that look like salvage? I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to pick an argument. I just, I want to be clear on the ground. Well, I, I don't, what you're doing does not sound like salvage to me. It, it's you, not salvage. It's not where people are coming to find parks off the vehicles. I do not show parks off the vehicles. I do not park out the Okay. I don't trust the vehicles. I don't. You're just bringing them there until they come into the month. Until the insurance comes until in. Until insurance comes in. Okay. Yeah. We're going to pick them up. Sometimes we do get stuck with you. It takes a little while to get paperwork right. done to dispose of them two weeks out of the building. Right. Well, I know when they, uh, like, total out, it sometimes takes insurance company a good amount of time to pick up the vehicle, so, okay. I'm sorry, you're Mrs. Sutton? That's correct. Did you get the answer to your question about future would, hindrance? Could you explain that? Would it, um, would future, would it be better for us for future use to be an M2 versus an M1? Is, it, is there much difference in the two? I mean, there's already so much industrial going on in that area. Well, so what would you be wanting to do to change it from what you're doing now to an M2? Really nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I mean, like he said, he's just that they requested M2, so I didn't mm -hmm. know if with them giving us M1 if it really makes a difference. 
I mean, I know you can't foresee what your future growth may, de what, what it may develop into, but um, I, I feel comfortable with them too at this point that I think could handle any growth in the foreseeable future. Yeah, cool. We'll say that for the next. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. uh, Michael was explaining to JD, actually, a lot of our business model has actually changed over the years, and we're doing a lot more transportation and hauling of, of equipment and things like that than necessarily towing of disablement vehicles so we're not bringing as much in as far as disabled because you know disabled cars and stuff like that as we were years ago so you know that kind of changes a little bit of aspects as far as what kind of i can say jump that we're bringing in you know, thank you anything else Thank you very much. Now, any other questions for the second? I got one. But you do still want to wreck where car, cars are for up now, they are all leaking and stuff like that. Out of them. So that that part is the only thing. Other than that, I, you know. Could I address your concerns on that? Is there any in particular? What's that? Could I address your concerns on that? Yeah, no, no, I mean, that is a salvage vehicle. Because you know, if it's or if it's got oil running out of it, if it's been damaged that much, so I think we're dealing with a fine. Why I keep saying a fine? Short term. Yeah. Huh? Short. Yeah. Short term. So the the thing that bothers me is the the oil leaking and stuff like you know onto the property and stuff like that. So I think we're you're, you're teetering on the. I would personally feel more comfortable with the M1 right now and compromise and to get what they need done. Rather than two. Really, we're not, we're not at that point yet. So we're, we're really getting it for 30, you know, close to 30. I mean, as far as like fluids and vehicles, yeah. I mean, we really don't have as much as people I mean, really think there is as far as you know, fluids, leakage, and stuff like that on vehicles. Um, but as far as like when we get them in, we have changed procedures over the years as far as, you know, to get people to come and pick them up and to get them moved um, as far as before they, you know, we get rid of them, getting their stuff out of them, getting their tags off of them, like all that has to be rearranged as far as, you know, who's coming to pick it up, all that stuff like that before we let them remove those items off the car so we can make sure that we're not stuck with them because if they, you know, have on the diversity, then once they get their tag or whatever else they want off of it, they just leave it. Right. And, and an accident situation for the fluid you know, If you post a radar, it dumps the fluid in the If you post the whole thing, it, it dumps it in the river. As a rule, there's really not as much liquid as you do with fixed bag fluid. Yeah. You know, it's not like it's sitting there running and drip drip. Whenever you get an accident, the damage is done and whatever fluid is dumping, it's dumping. Very good. I think you represented yourself well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is there anyone else here this evening that would like to speak in favor of this case? Is there anyone here this evening that would like to speak against this case? Seeing no one, that will close the public hearing portion of this case. Commissioners, any further discussion? That we have not already had? Then I will call for a motion. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Mr. Watt. Regarding this case, RMZ 2023-12, we zone 3.2 acres from CH commercial to M1 manufacturing as uh, recommended by staff. I'd like to make a recommendation that we approve this request as uh, it has been determined to meet the comprehensive plan and basically the surrounding land use and zone pattern. And I'd like to include the six conditions that we finish our hill board. First that's recommended. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion to recommend approval and a second. All those in favor? Any opposed? 